Hello everyone, we are back to do our Test Route 2 drive. Um, last night I did the same route and confidently say it was the best that's ever done it. Of course that was at night, let's see if it does it again. Um, we are making one small change though, is that uh, we are, uh, what am I trying to say, we are stopping past Aldi. So, um, basic, that's this, I actually didn't start. Well, we are on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> like, we're still on the wrong side of the road. Look at this. This version should not go wide. That's that's not acceptable. I can't. I don't know how this got past QA. Unless this is the reason why it took forever for Molly Free to get out. I don't know where they got the training data that I say that's okay, they just drive on the wrong side of the road. Anyways, that's, that's the theme of this version. So I started it here last night, so to be fair, um, this is where I started it. So let's see how it does started from here. We'll give it a, we'll give it another chance for the rest of town. Maybe it's just today, it's just not doing well or something. I don't know, let's try cleaning the cameras. Cleaning the windshield, maybe that's, Maybe that does it. Also, and side note, you guys noticed that um, when you were cleaning the windows and swipe right about now again, I'd have a delayed like final swipe because all the water, you know, it would kind of come up on the windshield and then it would swipe again like this just to kind of clear it off just a little bit more. I miss that and I wish they would bring that back because <laughs> now I have to manually do it. I thought that was such a cool, cool, smart thing to do, but now it doesn't do it anymore. So, anyways. Yeah, otherwise, um, uh, if you watch my other videos, uh, that's the start of this video. It, it's just not doing good today. It is doing really poorly today. I don't know if it's, I don't know exactly what reason why it's doing so poorly, but it just is. That's good behavior right here. No hesitancy at all going for this light. And past versions definitely might have had hes hesitancy there. So I don't know why it turned the blinker on right there. That's far too early. Because it makes it look like I'm turning down that road right there. And also, I'm not... This is a, It should use the left blinker right here. So that's interesting. No reason I needed to turn the right blinker on there. I don't think I did that last night. No, I was pretty tired last night, so maybe I... Did. Didn't, just didn't notice it. The speed control old down that uh, road I just was on, and this road was, was pretty good. Now, we had cars to come up last night right here, and there was a police car right next to me. And a 20 mile an hour speed limit sign, and it's still going 36. Okay, it's slowing down now, finally. Also, why is it turning the blinker on this early? See, it didn't do this last night. At, uh, at all and it's crossing over where you're not supposed to drive I didn't do that last night either something about maybe maybe it's just today or daylight driving and just it just does not like did this turn just as good as great last night it got over in the right lane do it okay I wouldn't have made that light anyway why is it it's pushing up really close to this car I thought it was gonna cross the see this to me is fine that right there that was fine a, a fine scenario they crossed the yellow line as long as it wasn't oncoming traffic 
I think that's acceptable to do something like that. Because you're just trying to go ahead and get moved over into the turn lane uh, so someone else uh, behind you can get past you. I think that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, I paused the video just so we could, um, just so we could uh, save some space on my phone. But obviously that was really good. I think that was a slight improvement. Normally we cut the lane short. And let's see what it does when we turn into the Aldi parking lot. Man, they are busy today. And we're just gonna go ahead and park. Okay, hey everyone, we are back, 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 okay, <laughs> to uh, get home, I'm going home. Oh, is it going to try and go? It looks like it can see the cars over the bushes, and now it's not going to go because of the cars to the right. It shouldn't go because of this car to my right because it's blocking oncoming traffic. Same thing here. And you're good to go. That was good. It does seem like unprotected lefts like this are improved on this version. That seems to be fairly consistent with this version. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> Shout out to Chuck. Um, they do a, just an absurd amount of testing on that unprotected left. And it really does seem like they have improved unprotected lefts with this version. Now, whatever, whatever they've done, they've uh, not put enough train data into curvy roads. Because that is terribly regressed on this version. And I'm not sure I wouldn't go... I, I'm like, I'm torn because it's like, it's almost like, it's about the same in terms of like quality of life between the two versions. It's like, well, one version was annoying, but then this one still has the speed issues. I don't know. So it's like the fact that I have to, I now have to monitor that it will go off the road pretty regularly now. So now I, I have to pay more attention in this version. That's a little bit frustrating. Okay. Let's see if we can make it through the light. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to get stuck and I want to be courteous to the people behind me. I'm just ever so slightly increasing the acceleration here. It was gonna make it. I'm just being courteous to the people behind me. Not counting as an intervention, but also, we're now back on route. So, technically none of the other stuff counted towards our uh, test route. This now does. So it needs to stay in this lane, because we're turning right there. And it seems like it wants to stay in this lane, so we're good. Assuming it, you know, assuming it can go all the way up to the highway, we'd also have, I believe, a zero inch dimension drive again. Now, did it do as good as last night? No, just strictly based on the fact that a couple of the turn signals are really weird that I don't remember happening last night. But maybe that's just a weird inconsistency. Okay, okay, I thought that did great in this area. No different from a human. See how it does get it onto the highway. It's funny, the first time I ever merged on the highway with this version for uh, using the profiles, now see it above 60, so we're using the standard speed profile. Um, I was just like, <laughs> had two hot hot dogs in my lap, trying, just trying to eat, eat dinner last night. And it was like, well, I hope, I hope it works. And sure enough, it did. Got on, merged on the highway perfectly. Same thing here. But this is great. Now, the problem I have is that I don't normally go this fast. It's a problem. Maybe it'll convince me to go a little bit faster. Oh, see here, 72 is not acceptable in a 60. I know people do that. They're coming out of construction zone. See, the 72 here is fine. That's fine. 72 to 60 is not. See here, I don't like this because I know I'm about to get 
into a 55 zone and slow it down. Maybe it's okay to pass this car. I should go ahead and get over. This is about to slow down. Get five. Still got 68. This is too fast. At least it reached the speed limit sign. So that's good. Though it might it might be a GPS still. And as I said in a previous video, me changing it to chill mode, I do not consider it to be an intervention. I just personally, I think most people, see here's the deal. Most people would drive 66, 60, 65 in here. I'm not most people, I guess. And it's still going too fast for me to chill. It's actually definitely too fast. We're in a construction zone. people right here. Perhaps around lunch. There were people working out here this morning. I see now it goes to 55. I just... <laughs> I wonder if I'd be able to back to standard if we go up to 60. One thing to note I didn't uh, comment on earlier is going, uh, getting onto the bridge right before it has like a weird jog in the road and getting off the bridge has a little jog too. And this version is made both of those noticeably smoother. It's, you don't have like, it does not like robotic where it follows the lines, which is probably what causes it to incorrectly adjust in the lane. significantly improved last night. Let's see if it does it again today. Get it off the highway, because it goes standard and goes into the normal speed profile. See, it's actually slowing down. Every previous version would speed up here. And it's actually slowing down, like, very well. Like, this is, this is quite good, going down here. I think that's even slightly better than last night, it seems. But th this is exactly what it needs to do. I'm getting off this on off ramp. So it appears they must have listened to my feedback. Hopefully, thanks, thanks Tesla team. And uh, yeah, corrected that. Otherwise, um, I mean, basically that's the end of this this route, everyone. Again, zero interventions. So can't complain too much. But uh, yeah, still uh, still room for improvement. On do see how close it's getting to the edge of the road right now. It doesn't need to. No need to do that. But yeah. Uh, everyone, please let me know what you think down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.